Hi YouTube, I'm here to review Frozen. This is one of my favorite Disney movies. It's my seventh. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I heard a lot of hype about it. And my friend Lisa. Lisa Ford, if that's her last name, how you pronounce it. Her name's Lisa, Disney 65 fan. Asked me a few times, have I seen Frozen? And I said, I haven't, I haven't seen Frozen yet, so this is just going to be a little history. I had heard so much hype about it, and I I just never got around to watching it in the theaters. I had heard a little bit about it, but then I was at my computer one day, and I was like, I was at my computer one morning, and then I thought, why don't I watch it? So I found a copy and I watched it and then I was like, you know what, this isn't bad. It's decent. Though, is it fair to say it's a little overrated? I mean, to my basic standards, I think it's a little overrated, although I really do like it. It's in my top ten. It's like number seven. I'll tell you why. I think it's good, though a little overrated. Like, I didn't think it was as great or as good as everyone gave it credit for but it it's really good it's one of my favorite Disney movies and I'll tell you alright most of my reviews I tell the plot but here we go so it starts off with men working on ice and they're working with ice and like chopping it and then later you see a, a girl named Anna and Elsa Anna and Elsa are little kids. Anna comes in to talk to... Or Anna comes in to play with Elsa because they're really close. They're really good friends. And then she said, go to sleep, Anna. And she's like, you want to build a snowman? And then Elsa gets that big grin. So they started... I made a snowman called Olaf. And she said... Hi, my name's Olaf. I like warm hugs. I love you, Olaf. That's what Elsa said. Or Anna said that. I love this movie. And kids at my job say they really love Frozen. Everyone loves Frozen, in my opinion. And I say people who didn't... Who didn't grow up... With Disney... Didn't have a... Didn't have a childhood. I love Disney. So Elsa um, accidentally struck Anna because she's like, catch me. Well, Anna's jumping across and she accidentally struck Anna in the head and she told Anna to slow down. But then accidentally struck Anna, not meaning to. Then um, because everything she touched, she would freeze. So then they covered her hands with gloves so it wouldn't work or it wouldn't happen, you know? So basically, they put Elsa away and then Anna would always come up and say, Do you want to build a snowman? And then she'd do that song. And she's like, Go away, Anna. And she's like, Okay, bye. Then the... Then the mother and father went on vacation. They took her to Trolls and they said that if you're struck in the head earlier, it's it's better to thaw a frozen head than a frozen heart. Yeah. So then they moved out to um, the, the mother and father went away. And it was said they were going to Rapunzel and Eugene's wedding off of Tangled, which is my favorite Disney movie. Hold up. So they said they were going to go. It was said they were going to Eugene and Rapunzel's wedding, and Eugene and Rapunzel actually made a made a um, an appearance in in Frozen. If you didn't see that, you'll see the back of their heads as the coronation is coming up. And the sunken ship that that Ariel in
Give me a minute. Sorry for the inconvenience. In this film, <coughs> the film, the ship in this one that Ariel visited was supposed to be their sunken ship. The sunken ship that the parents died in and Frozen. So, you might not know that, but Frozen, Tangled, and The Little Mermaid are all connected. Even though The Little Mermaid's from the 1980s and this one came out last year and this one came out in 2010 although yeah um so then it was just on and Elsa and then later three years later it was coronation day and they were just gonna open them up for one day and then Anna woke up and then she said it's coronation. It's coronation day when she saw the dress and then she started singing. Jumping around. Then you see R Rapunzel and Eugene. Then later she meets Hans. And she falls in love with him. And then they just start. Are, they're all just bubbly. And then Elsa starts singing a song too. Everyone's going around. Then she meets, then she meets them after the gates are open, and Elsa was singing. Anna goes and runs into Hans, and then they were having so much fun. And then, yeah, this is the silly part. He said, "Can I? Ma Will you marry me?" And um, and. She said yes. Anna said yes. And then the brothers would go and visit, live with them. But Anna, Elsa didn't appreciate that. And then she said that Anna, Elsa's only good at shutting people out. That's what Elsa said. And then she did the sorcery. And they said sorcery because they saw all the ice. And then Elsa ran away. And then they followed her. Um... Um, Anna wanted to go follow her, so she took a horse, but it didn't work, and then she went to, and then she went into a store. Um, then a guy called Kristoff, and... was doing a business of ice, but all Arendelle was covered in ice. <laughs> and then Anna also was singing a song saying cold didn't bother me. Anyhow, that actually plays on the radio now. Yeah. So, um, they're going and then they meet Olaf, or Kristoff gets kicked out for calling the guy a crook, and the guy's like, Whoosh! to him, to him, he's like, Whoosh! and Kristoff is just like a little itsy bitsy bugger, a little itsy bitsy human. <laughs> and then he said, "Let me deal. Let me, let me do some wild deal with this crook." And he said, "What did you call me?" And he got kicked out for calling him a crook because he would just get the carrots for his reindeer spin and then number two he couldn't get the ropes and everything it would be forty dollars all together except for the carrots the carrots would be five and then forty all together and he said ten's all I got and then he said that will give you this and I'll throw in a little visit to work or something like that and he said a crook and then he kicked him out and then Anna bought him all the stuff and then she threw the carrots in too and she said we leave now and then they started leaving and then he was telling her 
that he that she was being silly for wanting to marry a guy she just met, saying it's not true love. And yeah, Hans realized that sh that the horse came back and that queen and that Princess Anna was in danger, I think, so then he took a crew to go get them. Um, Elsa, Anna, and Kristoff meet, meet Olaf, the snowman. He was alive, and he didn't have a nose, but then he got the nose with the carrot. That was funny. He said, I love it. I love it even more than he said, oh, I've always... We need her to bring back summer. Oh, I've always loved the ideas of summer and everything hot. And Kristoff's like, really? I'm guessing you don't have that much experience with heat. And he said, no, but I've always loved the idea of summer. And he's like singing a summer song. <laughs> so cute. Olaf is extremely funny and silly and cute all at the same time. He, he was. He was bubbly. A bubbly snowman. <laughs> That's what you need. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the funny thing is so she tries to climb a mountain he said you don't know anything about climbing mountains and she said says who and she said I'm going to talk to my sister and she said please say I'm almost there and she falls she was barely there so then he said I found a staircase that leads just up there and then they went to go meet Anna or Elsa and and she said and she was she said we could be that way again but she was scared that she would strike Anna again because she had flashbacks and said no but then she struck Anna in the heart excuse me she struck Anna in the heart which the trolls said was a worse <coughs> would not be so easy to repair then she created an ice monster and he said go away and then they threw a, a snowball at the guy they called Marshmallow, or who Olaf called Marshmallow, he said, Hey, I think we lost Marshmallow up there, anyone? Ah, hey, buddy, we were just talking about you. Don't come back! We won't! And then they fell. And Kristoff had told Anna earlier that he had friends who were love experts, and she said, You have friends who are love experts? And he said, Yes. Kind of reminds me of Rapunzel and Eugene a little bit. You don't want my hair? Why on earth would I want your hair? Kind of reminds me of Rapunzel and Eugene a little bit. That they're kind of complicated at the beginning. <laughs> it just reminds me a lot of Tangled because um, you have two who don't know each other at first start to get along and you have two here who don't know each other and don't get along and it's like, I know why you're here and I'm not afraid of you. Eugene's like, what? And it's sort of like the same thing. You have friends who are love experts. Yes, the only thing I want to do with your ha hair is to get out of it. Literally. Really? Yes. So it's kind of similar to, to my understanding, to me. Um, then later they go to meet Kristoff's family or friends, the love experts who are trolls. But you know what's actually funny? Is Olaf wants to meet the whole family. So he's like, did Elsa build you? Yeah, why? Or, yeah, why? And he said, so who's the funky looking donkey? He's talking about Kristoff. So he said, Sven. And they said, and who's the reindeer? Sven. So he thinks Kristoff is Sven. And he thinks Kristoff's name is Sven. Sven. So he's like, hi Sven's family. When... Or, hi, Sven's friend, something like that, because they thought it was rocks, but it was trolls, and they said, oh, it's trolls. Kristoff's home, and, and Olaf's like, Kristoff's home, and he's like, wait, who's Kristoff? Then they were going to get Anna and Anna and Kristoff to kiss or get married, but <coughs> he told her she already had true love, and then two people were going to try killing Elsa. <coughs> and... They didn't, and she had all the magic, and then they took down Marshmallow, or Big Ice Beast is what what some people have called him, but uh, I, I've really enjoyed this movie, and um, next that happened was they returned to Arendelle, and Anna did, and 
Yeah. Han stopped her from killing people. Han stopped Elsa and they brought her back to Arendelle and cuffed her. And then... Then you find out Hans was going to kiss her, but then... They were about to kiss, but then you find out that Hans doesn't love her. He, pour, he poured water all over the fire and then left. And then... And then... Kristoff said, She's with her true love, and Elsa had already broken out, and he went, Anna! So he started rushing back, and he rushed Sven there, so he could make it to... Anna and save her life but then she didn't Anna didn't know what love was and Hans was the biggest jerk ever in that movie I mean trust me I would have decked the living crap out of him okay but then they're going across they're at they're over there and then Olaf makes it and he's like Anna and 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 he heated up the room for her so she could be warm because he cares about her. And and then he said, where's your true love? And she said she didn't know who love was or what love was. And he said, I, I do. Love is putting your someone else's need behind you. And he said that. She said, Kristoff loves me? And he said, wow, you really don't know anything about love, do you? And then he said the act of true love that Kristoff put her knees before him so she could be safe and then he ran because he wanted to kiss her and then they all went out and then Olaf helped her get out even though the whole area was frozen so they so they could save Anna from being frozen for life but then an act of true love can thaw a frozen heart then Sven fell into the water, he said, and Kristoff's like, Sven! And then he climbed up and he said, good boy. And then one time, they they went over and she said, Anna went, and he went, Elsa, you can't run from this! That's what Hans said, and she said, just take care of my sister. And he said, your sister? She returned from the mountain weak and cold. She said that you froze her heart. No. That's what she said. I tried to save her, but it was too late. Her skin was ice. Her head, w her hair was white. Your sister is dead because of you. Something like that. And then she stopped all the, the ice or all the snow. And then Anna's hands were turned into ice. And she went, no. But then she went, Kristoff. And he went, Anna. But then she saw that Hans was going to chop it um, at... Elsa and she went and Anna went no and she turned to ice and the sword broke and it threw him away and then she went Anna but then she stood Elsa started to cry and bawl her eyes out but then she got unfrozen and then she finally stopped winter and and she said I knew you could do it and Olaf went Elsa knew Anna knew she could do it and she also read Kristoff's slay earlier after they were running away from uh, wolves and then and then she gave then Olaf was going to melt but then they gave him a flurry he's like my own personal flurry and he started to laugh I love the way he chuckles in that movie and laughs and he said <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that um and she said that Elsa knew she could do it, and he said, hands down, this is probably the best day of my life. This is definitely the best day of my life, and quite possibly the last, but then they put him back together as he was melting, put the flurry up there, and then Hans was regaining consciousness because he had been thrown off balance, and then she went, Anna? She went, ah, 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 to, to Kristoff, and he went, Anna? But she froze your heart, and she said, the only frozen heart around here is yours. BAM! And punched him. That was my favorite part when she just, BAM! Punched Hans right in the face. I love that. And then, the guy who summoned two men to kill Elsa, he went, I demand to see the queen! And he said, oh, I have a message from the queen. The queen, Arendelle, will 
henceforth and no longer do business of any thing with Weaseltown. And he went, Wesselton, it's Wesselton, something like that. And then, and then they went, and then Kristoff and, and Anna shared a kiss at the end because I think they fell in love and they had, um, they made up and he, he got a new sleigh and they said no returns because he was the deliverer and then they kissed and then, <clears throat> and then Anna froze it so, and that they liked the open gate so they would never close him again and then everyone was roller, was skating and then Olaf was there. You know, all in all, <clears throat> this is a good movie. I give it a thumbs up, <clears throat> but I'm going to show you something. Sorry for the inconvenience. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm going to give you my top of my Disney movies that I like. Um, let's see. Do I have my top seven here? I'm not sure if I do. <coughs> not sure where I'm at. Where I would find them, but I'd have to tell you, even though I do have my top seven somewhere but they're not all here. I just have a lot of DVDs. I'm pretty sure I have my top seven. Let's see. My number one, Tangled. My number two is The Lion King. My number three is Aladdin. My number four is a Little Mermaid. My number five is Peter Pan. And my number six is The Great Mouse Detective. And my number seven is Frozen. I'm just going to show you some more I have. I have Oliver and Company. One of my favorite movies since I was a kid. Alice in Wonderland. Bought this. Got 10% off over at Walmart because I bought a balloon that said save 10%. So I got like a dollar off like 9 to 8 then the 50th anniversary with the sword and the stone and I have Pocahontas and Pocahontas 2 somewhere here in my in my mix of movies that I got at Walmart oh I have one more Sleeping Beauty which I kinda bumped down the list the reason I really like this movie is because of Maleficent but anyway, stay up to date and subscribe. Hope you like this review. Alright, bye. Peace.